Today we're out here protesting uh, greed and uh, just the, the very pitfalls of capitalism. What do we need? What do we want? What do we need? What do we want? What do we need? Why am I here? I've been doing the war and the healthcare and, and everything social for a long time now. But when Occupy Detroit finally started to happen, I was glad to come down. Our, our, our lifestyles are being dropped lower and lower every day while the 1% is making a lot, a lot of money. And I'm not saying I want to take their money, I just want a chance. That's all. Well, I, I like what this is beginning to represent. I think it's too early to begin to actually define it, but what it does do is bring numbers of people who are discontent in the and what's happening to the poor and the middle class. It has a good feel. It's a little bit of the old school days of protesting and sitting in, and so with a little bit of the new school. So it has a good feel. I am here to fight for an end of the abhorrent levels of wage disparity we see in our society. I'm here to fight for equality. You know, social and economic injustices in this country are running rapid. We've seen increasing levels of wage disparity since the Reagan years, and things keep getting worse and worse. And neither administration, or you know, neither party seems to be interested in it. And I'm not even confident in the, our political system anymore. I mean, I'm here because there are children starving in this country, because there are people who are unable to receive aid, people who are unable to find a job, who are losing their homes, who are being torn apart. And they exist in this society that is just, you know, fundamentally repressive in a cultural, in cultural means. It's, things need to change.